Around the world, over 450 million farmers depend on small-scale local agriculture, not only for food, but for their livelihoods. Climate change, with the more extreme weather patterns that come with it, poses a serious threat to these smallholder farmers and global food security. More excessive drought, heavier rainfall, and other climate events make agriculture more difficult than ever before, especially for smallholders who have less access to and are more conservative in adopting the tools and techniques necessary to shore up resilience to these extremes, despite the potential benefit. It's a shocking fact that today, smallholder farmers who depend on the land, not just for their food, but for their livelihoods, lack access to finance and to modern agricultural techniques that could both improve their livelihoods and their yields. Financial institutions have a huge role to play um, in both uh, supporting the mitigation uh, of climate change as well as adaptation and the building of, of climate resilience. Climate smart lending, as pioneered by F3 Life in Kenya, includes three main components. First, climate smart credit products and process designs. Second, a climate smart credit scoring tool. And third, a climate smart compliance monitoring tool. The climate smart lending platform is a new platform which brings together the tools, the actors, and the finance uh, necessary to help local lenders adopt uh, uh, or incorporate climate risk into their lending policies and loan portfolios, as well as incentivize smallholder farmers to adopt climate smart farming methods. The platform would work with lenders to integrate these tools into their lending portfolios. Compared with conventional lending, these tools allow lenders to build a virtuous cycle of climate smart practices and resilience. As their clients adopt climate smart practices, lending portfolios also become more resilient. F3 Life already has a demonstration site in place involving 400 farmers, and we've achieved a 95% rate of adoption of climate smart agricultural practices to date. And that compares with a rate of adoption of 1% per year in standard agri-environmental projects. We also project 12% increases in, in, in farmer income as a result of, of implementing these climate smart agricultural practices. And what this means for the individual farmer is that when they take loans, they put in place soil and water conservation measures that protect them for the projected increased heavy rainfall associated with climate change, um, extending the life of their farms from uh, 20 to 1,000 years. The benefits of this instrument are twofold. On one hand, Farmers have more incentives to improve the way that they actually farm their land to make it more climate resilient. By recognising these improvements through a credit scoring mechanism, lenders also become more open to providing them with finance and at the same time they make their portfolios more climate resilient. Our long term objective is that we want as much of the $50 billion uh, currently loaned to smallholders uh, to include uh, climate smart credit scoring uh, and loan product design um, as a means to incentivize smallholder farmers to adopt climate smart agricultural and land management practices and for, for lenders to build the, the, the climate resilience of their, of their loan portfolios.